The CEO of Microsoft, Steve Ballmer, gave the opening keynote address for this year's CES. Here at the Microsoft booth, some of the technology he talked about is on display. We talked to a consumer electronics expert to get the real scoop on the Microsoft we'll see in 2010. I found the Bomber presentation to be just a little dry and lacking some of the excitement and not having some of the production values associated with some of the previous Microsoft presentations. Probably that's partly because they didn't have as many exciting applications or products to show and they really were focusing more on some of these technology platforms. Well, I was at the keynote and uh, I didn't expect them to spend about a half hour talking about Windows 7 when we all know what Windows 7 is. The biggest hit of the year for us and for our industry partners was the launch of Windows 7. Windows 7 is absolutely one of my favorite topics, no surprise probably in that. Um, and then we had to wait till the end for Natal, and they, you know, did show us a pretty good amount about Natal, but the fact that it's not here is, I mean, that's kind of like, hey, check it out. By the way, you don't get to play with it. Microsoft announced that by the holidays of 2010, you'll be able to buy Project Natal, an Xbox add-on that uses a motion sensor for controller-free gaming. But it wasn't on the showroom floor. With Project Natal, we are removing the last barrier to gaming, the controller freeing you to have the experience you want with technology that's natural for you. Project Natal, uh, natural user interfaces in general, are to me are really exciting disruptive technologies. I have to say though, I was a bit disappointed during the Steve Ballmer keynote that there wasn't more ex exhibition of applications. It was really kind of a demonstration of the technology concepts with just giving you a slight hint as to what the applications would be. I gather it's in such an early stage of development that they still really don't have the exciting applications to show yet. The first time that you discover something new that you love, that's what the first moment was like when I walked up to the sensor, gestured, and saw that come to life on the screen. We knew we had something when we took the first demos that were using the skeletal tracking technology and we actually had people using every part of their body. Not only were they smiling, but they said, hey, I was actually there. I can now tell all of you that Project Natal will be available this holiday, 2010. Um, I wanted to see Natal, because to me, the only really innovative thing that they have right now is that. And uh, instead, we're seeing a bunch of Windows 7 stuff and a bunch of uh, kind of feature ads to Xbox 360 that aren't really impressive to me. 3D TVs in Natal is what I wanted to see while I was at CES, and I've seen plenty of 3D TVs, which are incredibly awesome, but no Natal, so it's kind of downer. 